Whenever I'm in a rush and don't have time for breakfast or a snack, I often find myself grabbing a granola bar. But instead of the same old granola bars from the grocery store, I've learned to make my own no-bake oat bars at home as a healthier alternative that I can customize with my favorite ingredients that are both natural and nutritious. I much prefer these homemade bars because I can control exactly what I'm putting into them without any of the artificial additives that store-bought bars often have. They're deliciously addictive, filling, energizing, and packed with nutrition, making them perfect for breakfast or a midday snack whenever you need an energy boost. They're also great for meal prep because of just how incredibly easy they are to make, with no baking or equipment required. Today, I'll show you how to easily make four of my favorite go-to recipes for these no-bake oat bars. Let's get into it. Our first recipe is the simplest, because all you need are three ingredients for this classic oat bar. Into a large mixing bowl, we're going to pour in three cups of rolled oats. I like using rolled oats for the chewier texture, but you can use quick oats if you prefer. To that, let's add one cup of natural peanut butter. You can also use other types of nut butter or seed butter if you prefer something nut-free. Just make sure it has a drippy consistency like this so that it mixes easily. To that, we're going to add half a cup of honey. You can use maple syrup, agave nectar, or any other type of sticky sweetener. And if you'd like, you can also add a quarter teaspoon of salt to bring the flavors out. Give all of that a thorough mix until it's well combined and then set it aside. We're then going to grab an 8x8 or 9x9 baking tray and line it with parchment paper. I like lining it up the edges and then clipping the sides with binder clips to keep it in place. Let's then pour our mixture in and then spread it across the tray while flattening it with a spatula. Make sure to press it down firmly in order to get rid of any air gaps so that the ingredients stick and bind together. To make things easier, you can lay down another strip of parchment paper on top to prevent sticking and then press down firmly with the bottom of a mason jar or the back of a flat spatula. Then, let's remove the parchment paper and refrigerate this for at least 2-3 to three hours to let it firm up and bind together. When it's ready, we can take it out by lifting the parchment paper and placing it onto a cutting board. The granola mixture is now firmed up and binded, making it easy to slice into either squares or rectangular bars, whatever you prefer. I typically cut this into about 12 bars, but you can slice them into whatever size you like. You'll see that the bars are now firm but soft, with a delicious chewy texture that sticks together just like a regular granola bar. This is so easy and delicious with just three simple ingredients and no baking required. You can then enjoy this right away or store it away in an airtight container in the fridge for up to a week or in the freezer for up to three months. These oat bars are super versatile. You can customize them with whatever ingredients and toppings you like. Everything from chocolate chips to coconut flakes, different types of nuts, your favorite seeds, dried fruits, and so on. Now for our next recipe, these chewy trail mix bars are packed with tasty nutrition that you can customize yourself. Into a mixing bowl, let's start with our dry ingredients. We're going to use one and a half cups of rolled oats, along with one cup of nuts. Here I'm using roughly chopped almonds and cashews, but you can use whatever you like. To that, add half a cup of your choice of seeds. I'm using a blend of pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, and hemp hearts. Then, add half a cup of your favorite dried fruits. Here I'm using raisins and dried cranberries. To finish it off, let's throw in a quarter cup of chocolate chips, half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. Give it all a good mix. Then, let's add in our wet ingredients. A three quarter cup of natural peanut butter, half a cup of honey or other sticky sweetener, two tablespoons of melted coconut oil to bind everything together, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Give all of that a good thorough mix, again making sure to stir until all the wet and dry ingredients are well combined. Let's then pour our mixture into our baking tray lined with parchment paper, covering it from corner to corner and pressing down firmly to flatten the mixture. Again, you can use another strip of parchment paper and a mason jar or spatula to help press it down if you like. Throw it into the fridge for 2-3 to three hours. When it's ready, remove it from the baking tray and cut it into squares or bars in whatever size you like. As you can see, the bars are now firmly held together without crumbling apart while still giving you a chewy texture in every bite. These chewy trail mix bars are so delicious and packed with nutritious and natural ingredients that you can easily customize with whatever nuts, seeds, and dried fruits you like. Now for our next recipe, if you prefer more of a light and crispy texture, then these crunchy oat bars are for you. Into a mixing bowl, we're going to start with our dry ingredients by adding 1.5 cups of puffed rice cereal to give it some crunch. I like using these organic brown rice puffs, which are full of whole grains and no added sugar, but you can also use rice krispies or crumble some rice cakes instead. Let's then add in 1.5 cups of rolled oats, a quarter cup of chocolate chips, a third of a cup of seeds of your choice, here I'm using a mix of pumpkin, sunflower, and chia seeds, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. 
give these dry ingredients a good mix. Then we're going to add in our wet ingredients with half a cup of honey, half a cup of natural peanut butter, two tablespoons of melted coconut oil, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Give everything a good thorough stir to mix and combine all the ingredients. Once that's done, let's grab our parchment paper lined baking tray and pour our mixture in. Again, we want to spread and flatten our mixture by pressing firmly so that it binds together without leaving any air gaps. Once it's flattened, I'm going to drizzle on top just a little bit of chocolate syrup. This step is optional, but all I've done for this is melt and mix together one and a half tablespoons of chocolate chips with half a teaspoon of coconut oil. Then, let's throw it into the fridge for at least two to three hours to let it chill and firm up. When we take it out, our mixture will have solidified enough for us to cut into squares or rectangular bars in whatever size you like. These oat bars are dense, yet have a crispy and airy texture to them, and are great if you like a little bit of crunch in each bite, while still being chewy enough to maintain that granola bar texture. These are deliciously addictive. For our last recipe, if you're into protein bars, I'll show you how to make your own chocolate coconut version at home. Into a mixing bowl, let's start by adding one cup of protein powder. I like using unsweetened and unflavored whey protein so that I can customize the flavor myself, but you can use whatever you like. To that, we're going to add two cups of rolled oats, a quarter cup of chocolate chips, a quarter cup of seeds, here I'm using chia seeds and hemp hearts, a quarter cup of coconut flakes, a quarter cup of unsweetened cocoa powder, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. Give these dry ingredients a good mix. Then, for our wet ingredients, let's add one cup of natural peanut butter, half a cup of honey or other sticky sweetener, two tablespoons of unsweetened almond milk, two tablespoons of melted coconut oil, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Give all of the ingredients a good stir, making sure to mix everything thoroughly until it's well combined. Let's then pour the mixture into our baking tray lined with parchment paper, making sure to cover the entire area and pressing down firmly until everything flattens out. As an added topping, I'm then going to sprinkle some coconut flakes right on top and then flatten it down once more. Let's throw this into the fridge for about 2-3 hours to let it chill. When it's ready, we can take it out of the baking tray and cut it up into squares or bars. It should be firm enough to cut and stick together without crumbling apart. These protein bars are a great way to get your protein in throughout the day, without having to spend high prices on expensive store-bought protein bars that are often full of unwanted additives. Not to mention, these taste amazing. And as a tip, if you want to make these chocolate coconut bars without protein powder, just leave it out and exclude the milk. I hope this video gave you some ideas and inspiration to make your own no-bake energy oat bars at home. As you can see, they're super easy to make and meal prep ahead of time, and to customize with your own ingredients. They're a fantastic alternative to store-bought granola bars because you can control what you put into them, and you can make them as healthy or as indulgent as you like. If you do give these a try, please let me know, I'd love to hear what you think. And if you're curious about any of the products I've used in this video, you can check them out in the video description below. Until next time, thanks for watching. If you'd like to watch more, click here for another video. And if you enjoy my content, I'd really appreciate if you leave a like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.